and in this video we are going to talk about is live method resume method and suspend method it's a very very important method but as of now this resume and suspend method is uh, deprecated and maybe in the future it will remove but as of now it's not removed okay so let's discuss about it like how it will work and uh, what uh, we can do with that okay with the example so what is the is live method so is live method means of the thread class test is uh, tested if the thread is live yeah, a live you can say a thread is considered a live when the start method of the thread class has been called and the thread is not yet dead this method return true if the thread is still running and uh, not finished okay so that time it will return true otherwise it will return false okay so it means that if thread is running a state we can say it will return uh, true is live method is a live method otherwise it will return false okay resume method so resume methods of the threads class is only uh, use with the suspend only method so what uh, actually doing is suspend method will stop the current execution of the thread okay and resume method will be a start again whatever the thread is stop okay suspended so this uh, method is used to resume a thread suspend method is uh, used to resume a thread which was uh, suspended using the suspend method and this method allow the suspend thread to start re again okay let me discuss about uh, as a practical so that you can understood more about it so simple words you can uh, understand a is a live method will check our current thread is running a state or not if it is running a state will return uh, true otherwise false resume method or suspend method so first we are using the suspend method through that we are stopping or suspending the particular thread and again after some times if we need to start again those suspended thread then we can use resume method to restart those particular thread once again okay i hope you understood let's go and do the practical so that you can understood more about it so i have already created one class called test resume let me extend the thread class inside this only okay so thread class is extended and uh, I'm going to create simply one min method and uh, I'm going to create one run method also so public so void run okay so run method is created here inside the run method I'm going to write one for loop and I will iterate for the five times at starting with one so I will write equal to five and here I will start with the one let me format it okay look good and uh, here what I'm doing is I'm going to print some of the data okay so s out and I will print i before printing the data I will sleep this thread for some time so I will write thread dot sleep okay and in the sleep I will pass something called three second okay so this is the three second and let me surround it with the try and catch block so that we don't want to throw the exception let me remove this line of the code format it okay so this is the line of the code i have added and then after inside the loop only i have written the s out statement which will print one two three four five done so this is the run method it's done one more thing uh, while printing a one two three i will print uh, some of the thread name okay so here i will give the what is the thread name also and uh, how can i get the thread name so thread dot uh, current thread dot get name okay we have a method get name so through that we can read the thread name also and we can print along with the printing the data let's here create some of the threads so i'm going to create a three or four thread so let create three thread and the class we have test resume and uh, t1 this is the first thread and uh, new test resume okay so one more thread i will create with the help of that one okay and uh, this thread is created control alt arrow down and i will give the name of the thread also so t2 and t3 okay so three thread is created but i want to set the name also so i can write uh, t1 dot set name method i will call and here i will set i will give the name called a control alt arrow down three times and we can set the name for t2 2 and this is the three i can give the name called a b and finally c so this is our thread abc this is the, my thread name and now i'm going to do the operations through that threads so i will start all those threads simultaneously so i will write t1 start okay t2 dot start and i will start the third thread also okay started all thread uh, all those thread will be started so simultaneously it will run and print the output but uh, meanwhile i'm going to suspend one thread which is t2 dot suspend so once I do the suspend, the T2, the T2 thread will execution will stop. T2 
ट्रेड एग्जीक्यूशन विल स्टॉप ओके सो दिस विल स्टॉप लेट मी डू वन थिंग फर्स्ट आई विल ट्राई टू रन ओके सो लेट मी रन वन सो इफ आई रन इज यू कैन सी द आउटपुट इज प्रिंटिंग ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी सी लाइक ऑल दो थ्रेड लाइक ए बी सी थ्री थ्रेड्स आर डूइंग वर्क ऑन दैट एंड इट्स प्रिंटिंग द आउटपुट ऑल्सो नो इज इन दैट ओके दैट इज फाइन बट I don't want to execute the T2 thread. So what I will do? I will do suspend. So once I do the suspend, what will happen? You can see the output. Okay. So you can see it's a C is doing, A is doing, C is doing, A is doing, but B thread, which is T2, is not executing because I have done the B thread is slave uh, suspend. So once people are suspended from the college and the school, they are they are not going to the school, so they are not giving the exam. So like that only it's be having, and you can see here there is no executions for the thread called T2, and still our uh, our application is open running. Okay, let me resume it. Okay, so you understood what is the meaning of suspend. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, before starting. Okay, okay, let let it be, let it be. So I have already suspended. Now I think okay. I need to start once again. So I have given some time. Okay, thread dot sleep, and here I will give some times called uh, ten second. Let it be ten second, and I will say after ten second you can start the executions. Okay. So what I will do is I will do the operations on the T two thread dot resume. So once I do the resume, it means that re start, re start S T A R T re start. the b thread which is t2 thread again it means that okay and let me throw this exception okay that is done and you can understand like this is the deprecated method so because of that we are getting one line on that okay i will show you so what will happen it will start t2 after 10 second okay so all thread will be executed t1 t2 and after 10 second the t2 will also start executing okay let me run once so that you can understood So if you see here, A just started executing, C just started, like T1 and T3 is doing the work until 10 second, and then after automatically B is joined here. After 10 second, B join here and it's also starting the executions. So one, two, three, like that you can see. Okay. If I give something like 12 second or something like 14 second, then you can see clearly everything. So let me run. So. This is printed two second. This is also two second, two second. So A and C are executing, and uh, our B thread is suspended. And again, after fourteen second, it will start. So it's started now and restarted now because of the resume method and doing our on operations individually. So it's printed one, two, three. Our B thread. I hope guys you understood. So B thread or T two thread is nothing but thread T two having a name called B thread. Okay, understood. And I have printed those thread. Now what is the alive? Now we understood what is the suspend, what is the resume, and uh, now we need to understand what is the is alive method. What it will do. So let me write here s out. Okay. Before uh, once after creating a thread, I will write s out, and I will write here t two dot is alive. Okay. Is alive and uh, okay. This is the thread which is nothing but b. So let me give here b. So b or t two can say b three. Once you run, you can see it's given the false. Why is it false? Okay, it's false because we have not started. So once you start, let me copy this line of the code and paste some places. So if I put here, so it will say like okay, it's started. Okay, b is alive. It's giving the true. And once it is suspended again, it's giving the false. And again, it is resume. Once it is resumed, then also it will give true. So I have put it three places or four places, and let me run one, and we can check our thread is alive or not. So if you see here, first time is given the false, second time we have started so true, third time also true. It's given, okay, because our thread is started, it's live, but it's not a stop. Again we have restarted, so it's printing true, true, true only. Okay, I hope guys you understood what is the is live methods and we can check like our thread is completed or not, and finally what is the output you can see here. So first time it's given the false because our thread is not started. Once it is started, it's given the true, true, true. Okay, 
so this is the something we need to understand what is the is live is alive and what is the original what is the suspend but as of now this is alive method is working fine it's not deprecated if you go to the suspend or resume method this is deprecated let me open it so once i open it in the thread class you can see it's written here it's a deprecated since 1.2 maybe for removal it's true so it will remove in some upcoming version as of now it's not removed okay and also suspend method is also deprecated you can see here as a deprecated and since 1.2 it will also remove what is the is live method so let me control o is okay is a live method so you can open it and you can search is a live method so we have to give in the implementation for that but we have not given it's a final methods okay and the method also so test it if this uh, thread is alive a thread is alive if it has been started and has not yet died so code true if the thread is alive false otherwise okay understood so you can go with the documentation also and you can try to understand each and everything it's this and each and everything here you can go and just read it out okay so i hope you understood guys if you have any questions related to that you can just ping me i will definitely help you thank you so much